So I don't know about you guys lately, but I am freaking like just so tired. I don't know what it is lately, but I've been like really tired. But anyway, getting under a video today, we're gonna be talking about some stories of mine, some older stories of uh, when I went to this place called uh, Camp Andesong. If you don't know what Camp Andesong is, it's a place. It's more of like a Catholic camp, but you know I'm not really the most Catholic. But it's technically a place where you would go without electronics for an entire week or even two weeks if you really wanted to, and you would pretty much just enforce the outdoors kind of like you just be outdoors all the time and they would make you stay outdoors all the time and you pretty much would explore like the wilderness and stuff but you know for my case i have some pretty funny stories i have to say so what let's start out with um me going on my second year so my second year of going we had in our cabin we were the far our camp where there are different like tribes and our tribe was the farthest away from all the other tribes in the place and in our tribe, in our cabin, it was me, my friend Big Jiggle. I'll leave all of their names, all the people in this video, I'll leave them in the description below if you want to go check them out. I have me, Big, Big Jiggle, Neptune Down, and uh, Tyler, because, you know, Tyler uh, doesn't have a YouTube channel, so, you know. We'll just call him Tyler, because that's his name. And we're in Camp Anastunk, right? And we're coming up to our cabin, and we're like, oh, yeah, man, this is going to be, like, epic and everything. And we ended up finding out that we were the farthest away. And I wasn't that freaked out. I was like, okay, I'm nowhere the farthest away. Let's let's go. But then when we get to our cabin, we find out that there is this giant wolf spider just sitting in the back of our cabin. And I mean, this thing, guys, I'll put a picture of the screen of the wolf spider itself. But it was, like, huge. Like, oh, my God. And I have arachnophobia, so... If I ever do a P.O. boxing, never send me spiders. I swear to God, if somebody sends me a spider, I will crap myself. But, like... The spider was huge, okay? It was huge, and it was just sitting back there. And I was ready to just ready. I was ready to see that thing just jump on like Triton's face or something, or Neptune Down's face, because I was. That would have been pretty funny, honestly. I would have thought that would be pretty funny. But I mean, I was just ready for that thing to jump, and luckily it didn't. And my, we had our friend Tyler, our lucky exterminator Tyler, over here to come and save the day, and he killed the spider because he's the best, and he was like our exterminator for the place. And so, on our first night there, we had, like, two other wolf spiders, and even the, like, I didn't really mind the nights. I mean, the nights are, like, the hardest part of the day, or the camp itself, because you have this idea that, like, bugs are gonna come out at you, and I'm not a big fan of bugs, I'm really not. And so, we wake up the next morning, right, and I have to go to the bathroom, but we can't, we have to go to the, to get to the actually good bathrooms, we have to go to the main lodge, but we have an outhouse. But there was, like, I opened the door, right? There were three wolf spiders, four cockroaches, and, like, four junior, five June bugs, and a few moths. And they were all just sitting in there, and I'm like, holy crap. Like, I'm not going to take a crap with a wolf spider climbing up my freaking butthole, okay? I'm just not gonna do that. So, I had to hold, hold my poop inside my body until I got to the freaking main lodge. And that was like three hours of holding my poop, which I honestly could- <sighs> Dude, it was so hard. Like, I felt constipated after that. But once we got to the main lodge, like, I just started for the bathroom, okay? I was like, I gotta take a crap, nobody bother me, and I gotta go take a crap, so bye. So I went to go take my crap, and oh my god, guys, I felt so much good, better. So, that's pretty much the first two days. So, we're going on the third day, right? We're going to take a hike up to the mountains, and it's like a whole day hike, and a whole day hike back. So, we're hiking up, right? It's about like 2 or 3 o'clock in the p.m., and this mosquito was flying around Neptune down, or Trenton. It was flying around Trenton, and Trenton was freaking out. So, being the kid he is, he brought a thing of, he didn't bring sunscreen, but he brought bug spray. And I honestly, the bug spray he brought was so nasty, dude. Like, it was so bad. And he had this idea that bug spray would take out all the bugs. Which, honestly, it doesn't. The bug spray doesn't actually work that well. And he misses, he starts to spray the bug spray. And spraying the bug spray, he sprays it everywhere but the mosquito. He sprays it at us, and it got in all of our mouths. And it was just, oh my gosh, guys, like, it was so bad. It was so nasty, too. And then there was one time when my first year, when my friend, uh, my friend, Mr. Slips, or Dominic, he 
So we had, we were right in front of our cabin, there were these two wasps making out, or, as they would put it, reproducting, in a science way. So they were reproducting there, and Dominic freaked out, so he jumped over the wasps, got his sunscreen, and sprayed the wasps. That made them just so mad, dude. It didn't sting them, because Dominic just freaking ran into the cabin and hid. But, like, the wasp got so mad, and it's just so crazy what happens there. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see the part 1 of year 1 at Camp On Us Up, make sure to drop a like on this video and make sure to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. And, uh, yeah guys, this has been it. This is H Blizzard. Make sure to drop a like if we could try like guys, 5 likes guys, I'll make the ca the year 1 Camp On Us Up video. And, uh, yeah guys, make sure to relax, stay frosty guys. Peace out.